This is on manual, no wonder. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is day two of Yeah. The working title series of trying to get over blocking jitters. Not just that. Let's see here. But also just, you know, pushing ourselves to make content in any way, shape, or form. Over the past few days, I've used the word content a lot. And I'll be honest, like, I actually don't necessarily like the word content just because of its connotations more than anything else. Like, Yeah, like when I think content, I think the industry, things that I don't necessarily like, you know, things that I don't necessarily enjoy, the reasons why I stopped trying to find work in the industry, stopped trying to work in the industry, even as a whole. So I guess, if anything, I'm trying to like, I guess reprogram my associations with the word content. Oh, blown out. I was about to say you boy looking good, but nah, you boy looking blown the fuck out. But the boy's looking good still, to be quite honest. So, this is day two. I think I've got a name for the series now. I really do think I have a name for the series. You ready? Hold on just get to a point where I can see myself in the damn camera and I'm gonna have to walk backwards now because the sun is behind me but sunspots sunspots yeah I like sunspots I think it has like a nice ring to it so for the time being that's what we're gonna go for is sunspots so today Actually, since yesterday, since recording the one from yesterday, I've kind of just been thinking of the next spot that I can, like, you know, to, like, sit up and, you know, just get another angle of the sun, essentially, the sunset. And we're out a bit earlier today. Yesterday I came, well, like, I walked out the house at 5, and sunset starts at around, well, Sunset yesterday started at 5.01, so 17.01. It's the same case today. It's also 17.01, but right now I'm at the house at 16.52. 8 minutes to 5. At least that's what my watch said. I know my watch is a bit ahead in time. It's actually 16.43, so 15 minutes to 5. So we're a lot earlier today. Which means I have more time to ramble. Which also means... I have more time to try and find another location in order to get today's time lapse. <laughs> I'm just not sure like where to go. Like right now, I'm just kind of following autopilot by going through, well, going to the same general area that I was at yesterday, you know. But instead of, as you would have seen with yesterday's video, right? I was next to the cross. You all know what I'm talking about. On the hill, just outside my house, the broader Christian Christian community that lives in my area decided to erect the cross, essentially. I can see it from my front door. Where we're at right now, this part of the hill, I'm pretty sure you remember this from yesterday. You can't really see it all that much. Like, even if I do that, I'm not gonna see shit. So, as soon as I get to the top of the hill, you will see that. And yes, I'm wearing the same hoodie from yesterday. It's not dirty, okay? And it's one of my favorite hoodies. It's actually my second favorite hoodie, to be quite honest. And if you want one, 
What do you buy thankful? I made this logo, by the way. Sorry. That's how you know I'm serious. That's how you know I'm serious. I set an alarm for this shit. Do you understand how significant that is? That I'm telling my smartphone, my phone, to disturb my peace in order to remind me that I need to come out of here, take a walk, reflect on my day, and get you a time lapse? That's a serious commitment. That's all I'm saying. It's great today. Well, the fact that there's no clouds in the sky is not good. I love clouds. I am one of the few people in the world who actually doesn't like clear blue skies. I'm not a fan of clear blue skies at all, to be quite honest with you. I don't like direct exposure to the sun. Like, you see what it's doing right now? I am blown out as fuck! But it's fine. Cause your boy still looks good. But anyway, yeah, I'm not a fan of clear blue skies. Like I'm really, I'm really, really not. Yeah, also, it makes my eyes do this, and I really don't like walking around like this. I should really invest in like sunglasses or something like that. To be quite honest, because I get the feeling that this does something to my eye, like it damages my eyes in one way or another, and that's not a good thing. But we're back on the hill now. And this is the cross that I was talking about. See that? You were set up just below, yeah, like just below the, um, the cross there. There's like a rock that it's sitting on, and there's a nice little flat area for me to put a tripod, or in this case, a gorilla pod. And yeah, you get to see that nigga right there. Well, we are early today. Very, 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 incredibly early today. I think I just, I honestly just, I, I left the house a little too early, but that's, that's okay. In hindsight, that just really gives us more time. Gives you and me more time to figure out where in the hell we're going to set up today. You know, at some point, actually, I want to try and set up in those trees down there. At some point. Yo, I'm having deja vu right now. That's awesome. At some point, I'm going to explain why I think that's awesome and what deja vu means specifically to me, or rather my understanding of deja vu. Actually, no, let's just do that right now because we have time to burn. Essentially, like sunset, or at least like the golden hour of sunset hasn't really started yet. Like it's still very much white light. Well, I call it white light, because... You know how sunset is golden hour and then right after that is blue hour? The time between, you know, the time between blue hour in the morning and golden hour in the evening, I personally call that white light because, yeah, it's white light. <laughs> but anyway. Back to the bit about deja vu. I think I'm actually just going to try and find like a spot to sit down maybe even try and set up the camera so that I'm not holding it per se but even if I am it's not necessarily a train smash your boy just needs to sit down um, so yeah deja vu deja vu deja vu deja vu um, so essentially to me to me specifically, I'm not sure if this applies to anybody else. I haven't met too many people who like share the same sentiment that I do when it comes to deja vu. But essentially, to me, deja vu is, you know, like God, the universe, whatever like a religious belief you have or deities that you, you know, pray to, etc., etc. It's their way. And this includes angels as well for those people you know who follow or like I wouldn't necessarily say believe in angel numbers but see angel numbers you know, on a regular basis the same way that I do. Um yeah it's their way or it's like one of the many ways of them telling you that <coughs> you're kinda like on the right track and 
you know, essentially you should keep going. Like in another way, in another way of explaining it, the moments that I have deja vu are kind of like checkpoints in like an RPG or an adventure game, where in those specific kind of games, actually in any game, to be quite honest, that has checkpoints or save points, you find those things like whenever you find a save point in an, like an adventure game or a free roam game open world game even in a racing game those are like the markers that tell you that you're on the right path you know you're going in the right direction if you get what i'm saying and to me that's kind of what deja vu is that's how i interpret deja vu and yeah that, that's quite literally it like walking down the side of the hill now before I came decide, decided to come and sit down here, I had deja vu, which is which is always great. Like it always makes me feel good. You know, it's kinda like um it's like my angels are telling me like, hey yo, you're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going, baby. Keep going, you know, so it's awesome. What time is it now, actually? <clears throat> because sunset technically starts it's 453. Sunset starts in eight minutes. So it's about eight minutes to I guess figure out where I'm going to plop you down, you know, where you're going to enjoy the sun, essentially. And yeah. So I'm actually like actively looking around <laughs> around me right now to see like which rock can I put you on right now. But yes, 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 yes. You know, and as I said yesterday, like, one of the many reasons why I'm, I've decided to, like, do this on a semi-regular, almost everyday, aiming for everyday basis is so that I have a chance to just be outside, doing simple things, just simply walking around. And <clears throat> just reflect on my day, the things that I've gotten up to this day, just trying to be more present, you know, because I that's, like, one of the many things that I struggle with with you know like with me like me specifically being like a what i call chronic daydreamer a lot of the times just in reality in general <laughs> in reality in general what is this english that i'm using right now <laughs> i struggle to stay present right a lot of the times you'll see me and you'll see my body right my body will be wherever it is that you may see it but i'm not 100 percent there sometimes I'm not always there. It's one of the main reasons that I actually, it's one of, it's one of the, actually the core reasons behind what day is it, you know, like that video series where it's literally just my life. Whatever it is that I may be doing, be it cool, mundane, boring, it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm outside or I'm with significant people that mean something to me, I'm going to try my very best to just document that. And that series, that video series is a way of me you know, just reliving memories, dope memories, even bad memories. It doesn't really matter. Just the way for me to just be present in my life, really, because as I've gotten older thus far, and I've had a lot of time to just think about my earlier life and childhood, I've actually realized that I don't remember very large portions of my childhood. And I don't mean like, you know, from the ages where it's okay to not remember your childhood, you know, like two, three, four years old i mean like after six after six five years old there's very huge like portions <laughs> of my childhood that i have absolutely no memory of and it gets to the points where i'll be talking with family or i'll meet a family member that i haven't seen in a couple years or whatever or maybe even a family member that i haven't seen since childhood and they'll tell me things that i used to do or tell me about the kid that i used to be in my childhood and it's it's like who are you talking about or what are you talking about and this is like this is something that's been happening a lot more often especially since after i turned 25 actually to be quite honest with you it's something that i've noticed a lot more and i guess this is like my way of counteracting that going forward with my life essentially it's just yeah I record as much as possible document as much as possible just so that I have something to look back on just so that I have something more than just my natural memory you know in order in, yeah something more than my natural memory to help me 
It's nice to be just to remember my life and capture significant moments, things, people, and just, you know, all of that good stuff. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was quite the roller coaster. Like, we went from deja vu to memories and shit like that. But, like, hey, man, this is one of the reasons why we're doing this, essentially. Um, I still haven't found a spot. <laughs> And I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> um, I'm actually a little, yeah. Mm, let's, let's actually try and find a spot. Let's see. Because mm, like yesterday we had a, like a pretty high point. You see like up there. Wait. Yeah, there we go. No, don't focus on me. Don't do that. Ah, gosh. Yeah, we were like up, up there. This is so weird. But yeah, we were set up just on the foot of that cross essentially so now i want to try like a lower a lower mounting point a lower just yeah somewhere that's lower than yesterday essentially because the next spot that i want to use is actually not even on this specific hill to be quite honest with you i'm thinking of actually either going to the front of this lake right here that part of the lake or more towards the back so that when you see the time lapse it also has the lake in it essentially so yeah mine is working churning away and things which is what I love the most honestly speaking and the other thing that I need to work on is how I hold this because I was looking at the footage from yesterday and <laughs> A lot of the times, I'm like, you're actually, you're either looking at me like this, or like this, or like that, and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's something to work on. That, and looking at the lens and not the screen, but we talked about that yesterday. So, I think this is it. I think I found my spot. I really think I found my spot. I really need to get sunglasses. I need to invest in sunglasses. This, this is actually... I wouldn't say it's hurting my eyes, but it's just irritating that I can't just open my eyes normally and look in the general direction of the sun because it's just clapping my shit right now. But, yeah. I think this is the spot. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know. Actually, let's... Let's see what this angle looks like. Just with my eyes, really, not necessarily with the camera. And I think this is the rubble <laughs> from when they put the cross up there. You know what, on second thoughts, I actually might come back to this hill again. But we'll see. I'm really hoping that, like, tomorrow, there's a bit more clouds, or like, at least a lot more clouds in the sky. Because like I said earlier, I am not a fan of clear blue skies. They're great and everything, you know, for the people who love them. But for me personally, it's, it's such... It makes sunsets so dry because the only thing that you have is, you know, like the gradient. That, you know, you go from like the red, the orange to the blue and then the purple towards the back because it turns into nighttime. But... <coughs> yeah, it's just... I don't know, it's, uh, it's kind of like a blank canvas, almost. You know, like when, you, when you're preparing your canvas and you wash it with, I mean, well, you know, we call it washing. But essentially when you paint over your canvas, in order to give it like a different texture than what canvas is. You know, when I was in art class in high school, we used to do that with like, charcoal. It wasn't even actually just on canvas, we used to do it on paper as well. But like, we used to like... Sorry, not charcoal, coffee. Like, we used to like make like a small little cup of coffee and then like paint paper or car or like the, the canvas with um coffee and it gave the paper or the canvas like a different texture essentially and that's what a sunset with just clear skies feels like it feels like <laughs> it feels like a prepared canvas i hope i'm making sense because i feel like only People who know exactly what I'm talking about in terms of art will understand what I'm saying. 
but yeah essentially that's that's kind of what it feels like it's just a little too there yeah i'm being pedantic but it's fine um yeah i don't know i don't know i feel like i feel like this is it also there isn't any foliage in front of the shot like if i were to set up down here and there isn't anything significant significant in front of it like yesterday where there was like that tree in the right hand corner top right hand corner here it's just clear i feel like that matches with today's sunset so i think yeah i think this is the spot because like the other one as you can see over there that little like hill over there this little like little bunch of rocks over here like those little plants and if I were to place a camera it would most certainly catch one of those essentially so I think this is good enough and I'll use that spot as another day either for the next one or after I do some more exploring we'll see though um, sunset started that's it you guys let's sit guys we're getting there I swear we're getting there I'm going to set you up now. It, ladies and gentlemen that is today's time lapse I still maintain the fact that like yo as much as like this is nice and everything it's not I don't know it's not dramatic enough for me like, usually and I can see this being a thing Oh, in the future, you know, as I continue with this local series that I started here for myself. I don't know how long I'm going to be, you know, like doing the series for, per se. Honestly, I feel like until I'm bored with it, until, yeah, until I peaked, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say plateaued. Because plateauing usually means that there's something which you could probably do to continue progressing to a higher place and stuff like that but like for um what's this hold on just trying to like readjust there we go your boy's looking good just pauses so as much as i like to have music constantly playing around me in my ear or whatever it's very hard to talk all this music playing in my ears but yeah as i was saying yeah what was i saying actually because i completely forgot my train of thought now yeah i just watched back the time lapse real quick albeit it's on a smaller screen you know this one right here and it's probably going to look a bit more well just a bit i'll see like more things essentially when I put it on like a bigger screen or my you know my laptop or even the TV at some point but I still maintain the fact that yeah like whilst these sunsets have their own well, like these types of sunsets have like their own uniqueness about them they still just feel like just yeah prepared canvas if that makes sense like it's just it feels like canvas that's ready for more stuff to be added onto it you get what I'm saying like I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait, hold on. Like this? It's nice. It's nice. It's really nice. You know, like the gradient that I was talking about and all those nice things. Like it sits there and everything, but if I'm being quite honest, not only with myself, but with you, not my favorite kind of sunset the more dramatic the sunset the better for me personally i just ranted about the different types of sunsets this is how much you know that i yeah 
I love sunsets, man. <laughs> I love sunsets. I would say the same thing about like sunrise, but <clears throat> I am A, not a morning person, and B, not a morning person. So the chances of me like doing this with a sunrise, and I was actually thinking about this just before this particular, like, like today's time lapse, just before it, today's time lapse ended. Because I sat through like the, the last like, I think it was like 10, 10 or so shots. Um, yeah, I thought about, I thought about it. It's like, yeah, wait, at some point I'll probably like do sunrises, you know. But that would, holy shit. <laughs> I just broke a rock. <laughs> Oh man, anyways, yeah, like, I don't know if I ever, if I ever will, I don't want to say never will, but the person that I am right now struggles to get up like super early in the morning, wait, sorry, I'm trying to stand on the rock right now, and it's, it's not, it's not doing the things, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure if I'd ever do sunrises. I like the idea of a sunrise, you know, it's it's literally this which is backwards. And if anybody knows me, I like doing things backwards. What? That was an editing reference. More than anything else, like I'm thinking of other things now, but more than anything else, that was an editing reference. Like my editing style, you know, I like I like flipping the speeds of clips music anything just you know that's just that's like one of the core parts of my editing technique or like the style of editing that makes my editing specifically my kind of editing you know it's been it's been a while bro it's been a very long time since i've just been able to pop the camera open turn it on and just talk like i used to you know and i feel like this is just just that just getting back to myself finding myself again in a creative sense that is more than anything because that's a really huge part of who I am to be quite honest with you I'm always finding something to make something to create or just, just something I'm always doing something you know I don't like I don't necessarily like to idle you know as much as and yes, and you know, in like the in the previous video to this series, well, in the first video, I say yesterday because it was literally yesterday for me when I shot the other one. But by the time that you're seeing it, it's most likely not going to be yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I haven't decided on the scheduling for these videos specifically, so it could be last week, or last month. I have no idea yet. Only you do. <laughs> But yeah, it's just kind of like what I said yesterday was one of the other things is just for me to have a time, well, like some time to think and reflect on certain things. I don't like to idle. And what I mean by idling is just like sitting and doing nothing. You know? I hate, I hate doing just, I hate sitting and just being doing and doing nothing. Like I feel like that's not my version of stillness. I can't, I can't just sit. <laughs> I can't just sit and do anything. Like there has to be something happening around me, essentially. It doesn't necessarily have to be like stimuli, but just something, man. You know. And that's not necessarily a good thing. I feel like that's that's hampering me in some way or the other, in a way that I'm actually not 100% sure of yet. But once I do figure it out, then I guess I'll figure it out. And yeah then we'll know. I'm gonna head back home now. I feel like I should end the video right here, but at the same time... I don't, have really, I don't really have anything else to say really, like... <clears throat> got the time lapse. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah. Blah blah? Blah.